what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so we're gonna start today's video off here in my room we're just gonna get my diffuser going I am putting some lavender essential oil drops in here so we don't usually start the videos off in the room anymore but today I just wanted to switch it up so I did get a new comfort set I got this from big lots it's a complete bed set with 14 pieces I went with the gray and white only because that's the color scheme here in my room and the colors are just so calm and muted and that's exactly what I need for in my bedroom at the end of the day whenever I just want to shut the rest of the world out and relax. So I went ahead and opened it up yesterday and put it in the wash in the dry and it held up really good. And then we put it on the bed. We slept with it last night and it was just so amazing. It was so comfortable. I'm definitely happy that I went ahead and purchased it. I think the whole bed set was like $69, but you got so much with it. I got this big blanket. I got a flat sheet, a fitted sheet, a skirt, pillowcases, um, the pillow shams. It also come with its own throw. So yeah, we got a lot and I'm just so happy that I went with this. I just think it looks so good. Love the design and it's also reversible. So if I ever want to switch things up and I get sick of the design, I can just flip it around and it'll be this dark charcoal gray color. So I've got this unstoppable touch Febreze spray. It's a burst of freshness with every touch. I absolutely love it. And then I've got this Glade Hawaiian carpet powder. So I sprayed my bedding and my curtains down with the Febreze. And then I sprinkled some carpet powder. I'm now just vacuuming it all up. I do let it set on the carpet for about one to two minutes before I do vacuum it up. Which, by the way, if you haven't noticed, I did get a new vacuum. This is just a Bissell vacuum from Walmart. And I've had this vacuum before. It's just a decent little vacuum that gets the job done. So now I've got this glass cleaner. This is the foaming glass cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and wipe down my mirrors here in my room. So... In my last video, whenever I did my room cleanup, I had someone comment asking where I got these sliding doors for my closet. I actually got them from Lowe's, and for both mirrors, it comes as a set. It was only $120. I think that that's a steal, and I like these a lot better than just the normal closet doors, only because it makes the room and the space look a lot bigger and open. And it kind of gives your room that soft glam touch because of the big mirrors. I'm just going to get these mirrors cleaned up and the room will be finished. So now that the room is tackled, we're going to move on to the kitchen and I just need to load up my dishwasher. So every morning when I wake up, first things first is start in my room and then I always go to the kitchen. I'm just loading up the dishwasher. A lot of these dishes are from breakfast this morning. We've just got a couple plates and a couple cups. Some of the bottles are from overnight. Baby Evan is still drinking bottles throughout the night. But we're just going to fill this up as much as we can. I usually do have a little bit of leftover dishes and I'll just hand wash them. There's no sense in running the dishwasher two times. So we're just going to get this going and then we'll move on to this mess over here. So whenever I have pots and pans, I've never really put them in the dishwasher. I guess I could, but I just like washing them out on hand. So... We're going to go ahead and tackle this. Also, these cups are not dishwasher safe. These are my daughter's little colorful cups. They change color with the temperature of your drink. And then also, this is not dishwasher safe either. So we're just going to wash all these up, hurry up and empty out the sink. And then we're going to move on to the living room. So we'll just jump back and forth from the kitchen and the living room. 
that's usually how I do it whenever I'm cleaning. I'm all over the place. My mind can't stay focused on one task. I'm sure there's somebody out there that can relate. And I also have a few little baby toys here that I'm going to wash towards the end. So baby Evan, whenever he's eating his baby food, he loves to play with toys and he just gets them so messy. So this has also become a part of my routine as well. Every time I do the dishes, I'm also cleaning off baby toys. So now I'm just going to pick up the living room. We've got baby Evan's little container of toys that I'm going to pick up and put away. So this is how I'm organizing his toys for now. I'll have to find a different system as he gets older because he will get more toys. He also now uses his walker. So he's trying to learn with that. And then we also have this little saucer over here whenever he just wants to chill out and play. So during the day, I drag these from room to room just so I can keep him safe and busy while I get things done. So I'm just picking and putting everything up. Everything here has a home. So I'm just moving everything back to its home and where it goes. So the remotes go up here on the entertainment center. And then I'm going to fold up this little throw. I am going to put this on the couch a little bit later on. Just going to put the chargers up where they go. And this is the cleaner that we're going to be using today. This is the Mr. Clean Febreze Cleaner. And this is called Meadows in Rain. It smells so fresh and it's just the perfect cleaner to use during the springtime. Especially when you have those windows open and a breeze coming through. So I've got this little water bottle. I did get this from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to fill it up with water and then the Mr. Clean. And I'm going to use this to clean everything off today. So I'm going to be wiping down my entertainment center with this. I'm also going to use this cleaner to wipe down my couches and then I'll also wipe down my countertops in my kitchen later on with it. So this is just like a one and done cleaner. You just fill up your spray bottle and then you just go crazy cleaning. I also wipe down the walls with this as well. So it's just like Pine Saw or Fabulous or a Lysol cleaner. And I'm just going to wipe everything down. I wipe this wall down often. You can't really see it because it is so bright and white. But I feel like so much stuff collects on this wall because it is wallpaper. So I love to wipe it down while I'm cleaning. And this wallpaper seems to stand up to it. I've had no problems so far. I did get this wallpaper from Walmart. It took me three rows to do this back wall. And so now I'm just going to wipe down baby Evan's walker in his little activity saucer. I've got some Lysol wipes. And I'm just going to give everything a good scrubbing so that we can disinfect it all. And I do try to do this like every two to three days. Just want to make sure that we're keeping everything clean and cutting down on the germs. This is the one that takes a little bit more elbow grease and time because there's so many little nooks and crannies. So we're just going to scrub, scrub, scrub. You can also take the fabric off of these seats and throw them in the wash. I did that the other day, so I don't need to do it today. I just like to keep his stuff super clean because everything goes in his mouth and he touches everything and then his hands go in his mouth. So now I've got a can of Lysol and we're just going to give everything a good spray so this can kill whatever germs that I missed and then we'll just let these dry. So I've got that same cleaner, the Mr. Clean Cleaner, and I've got a damp rag and I'm just going to quickly surface clean and spot clean the couches. 
So this rag mainly picks up any stains that are on the couch. There's not many because I do keep them covered up. And then also it picks up any pet hair. Yes, I do have two dogs and they're always on the couch. I've had them for 13 years. It's too late to try to break them from being on the couch now. They were on my couches before I even had kids. They were our kids at one point. So they're not hurting anything. I switch my couches out like every two to three years anyways. I feel like I'll have this couch for a little while only because it is made so well. It does have a metal frame and there's plenty of space on this couch for all of us to set comfortable. So I'm just going to finish wiping all this down and I do let it air dry. Once it's done air drying, I'll put throws on it and that's what keeps the fabric protected. But right now, the throws are in the dryer. And I'm going to go in with the Untouchables Touch Fabric Spray again. And I'm just going to give the couch a good spray. I love this stuff because it does exactly what it says. It makes everything smell really good. But then whenever you set on the couch or even wrap up with a blanket that you've sprayed with it, the smell just releases it really is a game changer so i'm just moving these on top of the couch now so that way i can sweep the floors up really good and i always start in my hallway and then make my way into the living room and then i didn't show it here in today's video but after sweeping up the living room i made my way into the kitchen so i just knock everything out in one go I'll start at the back of my mobile home all the way to the front and I just sweep everything up and then I do the same with the Swiffer. I'll start at one end and make my way all the way to the front again so that way I don't have to keep pulling the Swiffer and the broom out and just backtracking. And I currently do not have an area rug down and that is because it has been so rainy here in Kentucky for the last past week we cannot catch a break i know that it looks really sunny and bright right now that's just because i have a ton of windows and i have white sheer curtains up to all of them so the lighting is just playing tricks on your mind it's actually very rainy and gloomy outside but i feel like that's the best time to clean i feel like the rain is so relaxing and I love to open up the windows and get that breeze going through my mobile home while I'm cleaning. And it just seems so fresh. Let me know down in the comments when your favorite time to clean is. I used to love cleaning at night only because it was so calm and nobody's in your way. Nobody's following behind you making mess while you're trying to clean. And I just seem to get so much done while night cleaning. But now I'm so busy with baby Evan during the night and I'm like so sleep deprived. So I haven't been doing any night cleaning here recently. So now I just love to clean on rainy days because I'm stuck in the house anyways. But yeah, I would definitely love to hear when your favorite time to clean is. So after Windex and my table, I did clean my mirror off and now I'm just gonna move to these two windows. So these two windows are attached to my deck. I do have patio furniture out there. So a lot of times when my husband's out on the deck, he lifts the blinds up so that he can watch the TV from the deck. And then of course, Harmony and her friends are always out on the deck and they love to touch the windows with their hands. So I feel like I'm just constantly wiping these two windows down. These two windows get wiped down more than any other windows in my mobile home. And I did get a new Swiffer. So I'm just Swiffering up my floors. I started in my hallway back by the bathroom. I made my way down the hallway. And now I'm just cleaning up here in the living room. After the living room, I'll Swiffer the entryway floor and then make my way into the kitchen. So the solution that's in this Swiffer 
is a wood solution. It's supposed to be good for floors, but it also is lavender scent. And if you guys remember at the beginning of the video, I did fill my diffuser with some lavender essential oil drops. So the two smells combined just smells so good. I know that the diffuser is in my room, but you can smell the lavender all the way through my mobile home. And so I did get a new centerpiece for my coffee table. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it on the coffee table or if I'll just keep it here on the bar. For now, it's going to go on the coffee table. But this greenery I got from Timu. And then I got this big vase from Ross. It was $12. It is very heavy. I was trying not to drop it, holding it with one hand. And then I got this really pretty mirrored tray. It's got little diamonds all the way around it from Ross as well. And I think I paid $17 for this. That's what the price tag said. And I just thought that they go perfect together. I love the shiny mirror look. So I've got this big old bag of eggs from last year. I thought that I would fill up the empty space with the eggs for now. Just to add some more Easter decor and pops of color to my living room. My daughter loves whenever I decorate and do fun little things like this. So that is exactly why I do it. And it just adds a really fun pop of color. You guys know that my living room is pretty basic and bare. So I think that this looks really cute. And it's very inexpensive to do. So back into my kitchen. I'm completely done with my living room now. I got my scrub brush out. I do feed baby Evan with his little tabletop high chair on top of the bar. So this is where he sets on it. And he gets food everywhere. So I'm having to use my scrub brush here lately on my bar. Because the baby food gets hard when it dries up. And it is a nightmare to get off. And so I've just got that same cleaner. That's what I'm wiping everything down with. The Mr. Clean Cleaner. And I'm just going to wipe down all of my countertops really quickly in my stove. This cleaner smells so good and so fresh. And I have like three kitchen windows opened up in here. So the smell mixed with the fresh air that's coming in smells so good and so spring-like. And so I'm just wiping everything down. And then I'll be done here in the kitchen. But I do have another decor piece to put out. So I've got this Happy Easter sign. It's like a couple days until Easter. So I just want to go ahead and put this up. Before I forgot to put it out at all. And then to end everything and put it into all the cleaning. I'm going to go ahead and put one of these Easter eggs wax melts into the warmer they smell like floral they smell so good and I just break it up and sprinkle a little bit into the warmer these take forever to burn I've also been burning after the rain these are all from cozy me candles and then I've also got this pixie dust melt these also smell really good and so that is going to be all for today's video. I hope that it helped motivate somebody out there. I'm pretty sure somebody could have used it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.